This is the Cam 8 2000 series, assembled at 25 feet. Notice the turnbuckles at the connection of the arm sections. The turnbuckles add strength and rigidity to the arm that allows us to build it to 43 feet. The 2000 series assembles like the Travel series with the exception of the turnbuckles and the cable assist. Note, when building your crane to 32 feet, the third arm section must have a cable assist block. Install the side cable assist by sliding the post into the main arm section. Then connect the ball ends of the cable into the tail section and the arm section. Next place the cable into the groove of the post and tighten the ratchet strap. When extending the arm to 39 feet, you must install the tail extension. Once installed, connect the cable assist that was disconnected from the tail section to the tail extension. Then install the tail section. Now add the 6 foot arm section. Now install the overhead cable assist. Slide the post into the hole on the main arm section. Connect the cable to the ends of the arm and the tail section with the pear shaped chain link. Next place the cable into the groove of the post and tighten the ratchet strap. When extending the arm to 43 feet, remove the cable assist and nose. Install the 6 foot arm section and nose assembly. Now install the longer side cable assist post. Connect the side cable assist used at 32 and 39 feet. Now install the 43 foot cable assist to the tail and nose of the arm. Place the cable into the groove of the post and tighten the cables. Next install the overhead cable assist post. Attach the optional lower cable to the mounting point of the turnbuckle on the fourth arm section. Then attach the other end to the tail section and tighten the cable. Attach the 43 foot cable assist to the last arm section. Slip the cable into the groove on the cable assist post and tighten the cable. Now that you've assembled your Cam 8 crane, you're ready to install the electronics. First you will install the fork assembly. This part connects the head to the arm. Install the four knobs and make sure the studs don't exceed the length of the hole. This could cause damage to the arm. Next install the head by slipping it into the fork and install the four knobs. Connect the main control cable and dress it down the arm. Remove the knob from the plate assembly. Then lower it, then reinstall the knob. This holds the plate into position. The other knob is used for leveling the camera plate. Install the plate and camera. Lower the camera cradle until the camera will hold in a level position. Refer to your service manual for cable connections and balancing the camera. Now, connect the remaining cables that suit your application and balance the camera. Next, engage the tilt motor and plug in the connections. Repeat this process for the pan motor. Now install the control box mounting bracket. Next install the control box by slipping the pin in. Place the monitor on top of the control box and strap it down. Plug the main control cable in and coil the excess cable on the opposite side of the arm. Use a bungee cord to attach it. Now install the joystick assembly and the pistol grip assembly. Now add the additional counterweight needed to float the arm. Next we'll level the components. Always start with the pedestal. Next check the control rod support arm brackets. Then check the fork assembly. Turn the control rod adjustment leveling screw to level the fork. Check the fork in the other direction. This adjustment is made by loosening the allen bolts under the cap at the end of the arm. The last thing you check is the camera plate assembly. Use the knobs on the side of the plate to make this adjustment. 